How's it? I'm Kurt from Studio 22 and I want to talk about my favorite project of 2019. I've got some behind the scenes clips and uh, I'm going to talk you through some of the basics of uh, exactly what makes it our favorite project. We were approached by design agency Cake Design. Uh, Karen specifically emailed us, sent us a, a proposed design for the University of Stellenbosch for their centennial celebration. They wanted a a frame or a gift that they could hand over to delegates, uh, to visitors uh, from far and wide. So the, the, the request was a frame with a, a wooden engraving on the inside and a plaque below that. Um, ha having UV printing on my mind, I found ways I wanted to suggest that I could use the UV printer. So the one option, instead of using a plaque on the inside, I suggested let's UV print on the inside bottom layer of the glass, more or less where the plaque would be, so it would be raised up against the glass. And the other suggestion was, although they wanted wood, they were a bit concerned about uh, you know, getting it across the border, sort of like the uh, Australian border crossing, um, where uh, there might be infestations on the wood. Uh, so there was a small concern, and I felt, well, metal should be a safe bet. Um, I recommended it, we did a little test, I did the option with uh, fine black printing with a silver metallic reflection. The other option was on the same metal but with a large portion of black printing letting fine lines of silver to come through. They opted for the metallic option um, with the fine black lines. We made up a prototype of the entire process and it got the thumbs up. We even had a stand uh, from our framing department that we'd imported from Italy and they weren't too happy with the way that it detaches and they asked us to come up with an alternative for making it stand, so it had to hang and stand. And we took a look at the back of our eco product, the eco block, and utilized the same stand and hanger that we used there. So that it was cool that we were able to use our laser department to create the back stand as well. So the production was done in sequence. We started with the glass, uh, printing all the sheets of glass, obviously doing a thorough clean, UV printing, checking that it was good, putting it in storage. We then moved on to the metal, printing all the metal units, mm -hmm. while the team in the framing department started cutting the, the outer frames. Uh, we start downstairs in the wood workshop, uh, sort of a dust area where we can work there. We do the cutting of the mouldings and then it goes upstairs where we do the assembly of the frames. And then I guess uh, it was really just about getting all the parts together, uh, the various gluing, adding a layer um, in the metal so that it was raised off. They did specify uh, a black frame with the white backing. I think we did a test with uh, alternatives of uh, white frame. Uh, the black one definitely stood out because of the, the black artwork that we had done, the printing. And then it was a case of um, assembling it. Uh, they also wanted a, a box to sort of round off the presentation. And uh, there we thought of something subtle. So they wanted this new logo on the outside of the box. And we felt a matte black box with a fine glossy print would look very good. It was extremely subtle. I loved it. In the video we tried filming it in angles. You can see at certain angles it, uh, it shines and shows up a little bit more. Uh, definitely a combination that's very popular at the moment uh, and it was fun to, to, to compile. Well that was, that was our fun project. I hope to be bringing you as many more projects uh, behind the scenes that I possibly can. Um, as I mentioned in our first clip, our projects are things we do that aren't necessarily products we produce. So we might produce an eco block and canvas and box mounts as a product on a regular basis. You can click on it on the website and place an order. But the projects are really based on a merge of various things that we do. If somebody wants something, uh, obviously we do lots of framing. So if somebody wants a frame, but it needs to incorporate other aspects, then we take this on as a project. Our most popular projects would probably be guest books and menus. Uh, we enjoy these a lot and they vary exceptionally. So the concept might be the same, but every aspect is different to the next and uh, everybody wants to be different. Um, so there's definitely a lot of opportunity to show you there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.